swimming with Garmin and Polar today. And another swim workout done. Let's uh, take a look at the stats. So here we are with the Polar Grit X. So this is a cool screensaver that uh, you can enable during workouts. So if you just hit pause, and then you'll see the settings button in the top left, and then right under power settings, you just click the red select button Screensaver on. So now if I click back and back again, click the red button to start the workout. And then in just a second, the screensaver enables and then it doesn't distract you while you work out. So pretty cool. And then if you quickly touch a button, then yeah, you can scroll through all your stats. So nice feature, I've had this watch for over four months now and I just learned about that. So nice, lets you uh, focus on the workouts. So we'll hit pause and then hold it down for three seconds to end the workout. And there we go, recording ended. Now something happened with this watch and it didn't record all my laps. I mean, there's all my data but it didn't record my distance. See, like there's the stroke rate, and I even reset it. Uh, we'll go into further when I get back to my studio and have better audio. And guinea pig number two, the Garmin Instinct Solar. So we'll click stop. Lap four, 13, 12. And then we'll scroll down and save. Please don't crash. Yay! Pool swim, 3,525 meters. Loads the workout. We can select details. 247 calories, heart rate, stroke rate, and S-Wolf, awesome. Well, we'll get back to uh, my studio slash home office, and we'll look at these in detail. So we have 624 steps, and my battery life is at low 8%. And I haven't charged this since December 27th. So awesome battery with the Instinct Solar. And then as far as step count, come on Samsung, focus. Forty-eight percent activity, two thousand. All right, so you get a lot more steps while swimming with the Polar Grit 
versus the Instinct Solar. Interesting.